Hi, welcome to the Wednesday, uh, December 20th, uh, Hampton Advisory Board meeting. Uh, you want to stand and have a pledge of allegiance? I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Uh, okay. So there's no public comment because there's no public. So uh, we'll start off with old business. I have no old business. I was wondering if anybody on the board has any old business they want to bring up. No. no? Okay. We'll go right to new business. Uh, first uh, on the new business is our new media coordinator slash director, and that would be. Rick Cantor, who's to my right, uh, he officially starts the 2nd of the January. Uh, right now he's on the board. He's short, <laughs> for a short stand, he was only on for a couple months, and uh, he will be resigning from the board to take the position. Uh, he was one of three candidate, candidates, candidates, candidates uh, that we interviewed last week, and he was far and above the the uh, right choice for this job uh, with his qualifications uh, and uh, experience. Um, so I just want to say that. So as his capacity, I think he can, I, I would assume he could, I don't know if he can vote tonight. I, I don't know if we should. It's probably, probably best to not. Yeah, and I, I'd abstain from everything okay. tonight. But, uh, okay, so our next is the, um, our next uh, is the fire station electrical upgrade. And what that is, uh, I think I talked to, uh, well, me and Paul, I talked about this. Uh, do you want to talk about that, Paul? Yeah. Um, when they built the fire station, we were never planned to be in that room. Uh, the electrical load was only for a um, radio, uh, Hampton primary, and the secondary Hampton uh, fire network radios to be run out of there. Uh, currently, we're running a lot more load than they had already planned on. When we uh, had a power problem during one of the storms, we'd lost the radio system and channel 22 for a little bit because the the, the buck break was a brock broke. There were too too much of a load all at once. The only real fix to that is to give it the proper supply it requires, and we're getting ready to go through an upgrade, and we're going to add new equipment in there, so the load's only going to increase. Um, <coughs> the suggestion was is that we take a sub-panel, run a sub-panel up there, so that they were, that were there, there would be enough room for us to grow if we need additional outlets. It's only a short run, worse of the work's already done up in front. Um, the only, we did not get a lot of interest on it, mm. and uh, the only bid we have is Parsons, I don't have a copy of the bid I don't, me. I thought I did too, Paul, but I think I, I know I gave it to you. You did, and I had it, I thought I had no paperwork here. It was, uh, oh boy, oh here it is. Yeah. Lucky, lucky, lucky. Yeah, the bid, well, they were the only ones. Yeah, they only bid. Yeah. Uh, it was uh, $21,145 to uh, install 60 amp sub feed from electrical room to upstairs server room. Install eight circuit panel, add two 30 amp circuits for towers, and add 20 amp circuit for general power. So it's it's quite a bit of work, and they have to travel. Yeah, quite and it's a, way. a long run. It's, it's a long run. For what we're doing, I think wall. it's a fair price. Uh, I think so too. And All right. Yeah. Um, if anybody want, else wanted to, they could have come and looked at the problem. We, we called several, the fire department called several electricians to do that, but um, they weren't there interested. wasn't much interest. Yeah, I don't think it's a big enough job. And they're, like, and they're local and yeah. right down the street. Mm -hmm. And this is for the uptown fire station. Uptown fire department, so where, our, where the channel, the electronics so and people all. People may not know that our equipment is actually located in the uptown the fire channel station. the streaming device yeah it's yes. all the there. channel and um, the school's channels there schools there too yeah so they're they're both drawing power there so um so we need to vote on that or we need to discuss it if there's any to would this also upgrade anything that's tied in for the school also 
would it upgrade theirs? Well, it, they they have one unit there. They basically have their caster system there, which we have a lot more there. Well, they have one thing. But they're going to use our upgraded system. Yes, they are. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I didn't know if they'd need to be upgraded at a later date. No, no. It's just it's basically outlets. They just we just need more power up there. There's just not enough power to feed all of the uh fire department's needs and ours and it's their building, so we should, you know, take care of the the upgrade. I'll make a motion that we put that uh pay for having the upgrade uh, for power to the uptown fire station. I'll second that motion. All in favor? It's unanimous. Okay, next is um, new wireless intercom. And I give you all a, a sheet on the um, wireless intercom. Our, the, the set we have now, it's, it's, I don't know, 15, it's original, I think, to when they opened, started Channel 22 because uh, We've had it a while. It's been a great set, but the last time we had it fixed a couple years ago, we had a couple of packs fixed, uh, was the last time. They said they would not work on it anymore because it's obsolete. So, and, it, and it, it worked for another couple of years, but now two other packs have gone. So we're down to two that work out of four. So we need to replace it. Uh, there's no fixing it. There's no getting it, uh, new packs for it that'll work. So uh, actually me and Rick, uh, Rick being in the business a lot longer and knows his stuff, uh, looked at a Clearcom system, which he says is um, is it comparable to what we have now, a Telex? Uh, well, actually, yeah, it, it, it's probably just a, a slight step up. Yeah. Um, the two big dogs in the intercom system, as far as broadcast go, is um, RTS slash Telex and Clearcom. Yeah. Those are the two big players, right. and of course, uh, Clearcom is one of those we one looked at. So, so this is comparable to what we have now. I mean, they have cheaper sets, but they don't have they, everything I've read about them on the internet uh, is that they're they're almost like homeowner uh, grade. Uh, what we had with these were great. These these would work. I think they had 500 yard range, you know. I mean, we, as we used to use them in the uh, auditorium, you could be outside and it would work through the walls. So that's something I think we we need to to keep a, a good quality set. We need a commercial grade. Equipment. We need, yeah, we need oh, a we professional can't grade. Use a homeowner grade, and, and they last. I mean, the other one needs last. to last another, yeah, you know, 15 10, years. 15 years, yeah. anyways. But most of your Clearcom and RTS equipment is. The, Life expectancy is anywhere from 10 to 20 years, right. um, and uh, they support the equipment very well. Right. Um, it also has a tendency to cut through some of the. Um, Brian and myself were doing a football game this past season, um, and having a, a lot of difficulty with with trying to communicate between the truck mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. and the upstairs. Um, that's one of the reasons that kind of drove this. Right. Well, we had the same problem during the Christmas parade. Right. I picked up two headsets, and neither one of them were working. Right. And you were we were yeah. ten feet away. Right. And they wouldn't work. So they they they've seen they they they've, they've uh, got their use. Well, anyways, I I did some um, price shopping on this, and I've got four quotes, uh, and they're all pretty much the sa uh, same. Three are within four dollars of each other. So. Uh, the lowest being uh, nine thousand one hundred and sixty-six dollars for, and this would include uh, the base and four. It comes. This set comes with the base and four uh, belt packs and headsets. And I was going to get another, a fifth, for a backup. So that extra, it was like eight ninety-five for the for the setup. So the total came out to. Uh, would be for the lowest bid would be nine thousand one hundred and sixty six dollars and that's g and g video um, there there's three of them that are the other two that are, were right there uh were nine thousand one hundred and seventy dollars so I mean there's really no difference I don't know where they get this they knocked off four bucks but and I don't know that company, but we know market tech which is uh we've we've he's used it a lot Rick's used it a lot and we've used it a few times and we have an account set up there so we 
I don't know if uh, that would make a difference with the selectmen if we were to go to them because it's we're set up. You know, we haven't we, everything's all set there. So and we haven't. I don't think we've ever bought anything from G and G. But when you're buying this equipment, I prefer to buy through somebody that we've dealt with before. Right. I, I agree. I mean, we know, and they, we know, who, you know, their their system. So, and I don't think four dollars is is a reason to take a chance on a company we haven't dealt with for in, for four bucks. So. Mm -hmm. But uh, does any anybody want to any other questions on this or any uh, discussion? I think the long overdue. Yeah, we've been talking yeah. about we this have kind of well probably five years at right. least. Yeah, we and we decided the last time. Well, I was I was convinced by uh, 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 Access AV that you know oh you should fix those they're they're worth it. But and when they finally after four months came back, uh, uh, they said they could no longer do them. That. They would no longer accept them. They're they're out of their not warranty, but they they're just out of out of date. So they don't, the, they won't fix them. The ones that you're currently buying, um, obviously they'll be able to service them if there was any oh, yeah. problem. Oh yeah. Oh um, yeah. For years, yeah. Yep. I mean, like you said, the other ones are end of life. Right. End of life. Exactly. So on that, do we have any uh, we have any motions? Uh, yeah, I'll make a motion that we purchase the ClearCom headsets from Marker Tech for twenty-one seventy and uh, ninety-one seventy. Um, I'll second that. Okay. Any more discussion? All in favor? Okay. Oh, you got yeah, right. And one abstention. I'm sorry. One abstention. Okay, um, the next is uh, a new console for the control room. Uh, the one we have now was donated to us, and it was, it's been fine, but it's, it's crowded and uh, not user-friendly, and uh, we hope to have uh, new equipment in the next couple months to replace all the old equipment we have. We're still working on that. Um, and this is the first step, is to replace the uh, console so we can get equipment to fit it. Um, Rick um, did all the research for this, so I'm going to let him talk about that. Sure. Um, primarily, um, we, we started with, a, uh, um, with looking at uh, the available equipment in, in the control room itself. Um, and as we've collected um, requirements for the newer system, um, to replace it. Um, one thing that um, was um, levied was that we would need to purchase an additional rack for the fire station uh, for that s small space that's being used here, just solely because of um, the population <coughs> in the current racks is, is pretty heavy. Um, we share one rack over there with the IT department um, they would like to move their equipment uh, because they also have need for space and to grow. Um, so uh, with that in mind, um, as we were looking at what we could do or what we should do, um, the thought came to, a, I guess to me, um, that since we have a current rack in the operator's console area of um, that it would make more sense to you to repurpose that rack over to the fire station and then replace the really as Brian had indicated um, non user friendly rack um, with something that would be allow us to put equipment in um, we won't have to do th things like since it's a, a volunteer or part time staff that comes in a lot of time um, trying to decrease the footprint on remembering how to turn everything on and you know um, literally um, once we populate this you should be just four switches one of, one in front of each one of the, the racks if you looked at it just bang 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 the whole system will be on um, so um, it just seemed to make sense so we started looking at how we could design that um, 
worked with Winstead, uh, looked at several other options, um, including Mid-Atlantic um, and Shook, uh, which is a company out of San Antonio, uh, Texas. Um, Shook is a, a custom console company, um, and it was real obvious that no, that's probably not where we, we need to be as far as price-wise. Um, Mid-Atlantic has a, a console very similar to this. It actually would be a little um, less expensive, but does not provide the functionality that this console does as far as wire management and um, uh, monitoring um, ease of hookup and so on and so forth. So <clears throat> uh, we came up with a design. Uh, Winstead's provided cost. Um, actually, they helped me with the design. Um, then we went out to uh, three different vendors uh, in the local area, primarily New Hampshire companies, um, with a request for a proposal. Received one from uh, Little Bay Broadcast Systems, CCS Broadcast Systems, which actually, um, well, the representative is in New Hampshire. Um, their company is in Massachusetts um, and uh, Access AV. They each provided a uh, proposal on it um, and their cost. Um, Access AV also came back with Mid Atlantic uh, cost on a Mid Atlantic system that, again, was cheaper but does not provide all the functionality um, that we found in the Winstead. So uh, Little Bay uh, actually came in as the lowest co um, purchase price. They beat um, Access AV by about $400. So we're talking about, about well, it's $12,025 for Little Bay. Little Bay, if you're not familiar with them, is a company out of um, Dover mm -hmm. that provides <coughs> AV uh, design and equipment and insulation. So that's where they're from. Okay. Um, I guess I covered that's, it. Yeah, it covers <laughs> it, yeah. So I think it's something that we, we, we need to do, um, you know, take care of. Get, you know, if we want to upgrade the studio, this is the first step. The console is really the heart and soul of the control room. It is. I mean, that's, that's you know. yeah, yeah. And to be able to hopefully get new workers, not, you know, we've been calling them volunteers, people volunteers, but uh, they actually are paid, you know, techs, we'll call them, you know. And uh, for those out there who see this and you have somebody that may be interested in doing this, it is a paid position. Uh, and uh, you do have to work some nights, you know, maybe some sporting events if you want. You know, right now we can't even, I'm not even, we're not doing sports because I have no cameraman. Uh, everybody here works, and uh, and all my, I've used up all my relatives and friends, so they, <laughs> they're done. So, um, anyways, I got off track there a bit, but I'm always trying to push to get some more, uh, more people to do some, uh, it's it's not a bad gig, it's interesting, I mean, and especially when we get a new equipment, we go we go to high def, and uh, I think I think it'll be exciting. Um, so, yeah, I think this is the beginning of, uh, of uh, upgrading the studio to where where it should be. You know, we've we've the voters, you know, voters voted the money. It's it's built up and now we have the money to do this. Uh, and also the, the school will be needing money also to do their, once they have their building built, they'll need to build themselves a studio because that's, that was their, that was their proposal. So, and after that, we'll, we'll see, we'll, we'll uh, see what we have, we'll do, we'll make a budget and see what we need every year. And then after that, the selectmen can decide what they want to do with the, the money. So, uh, do I have any other questions or discussion on the, uh, not to sound like a broken record, but this is another one that's been long overdue. Well, yeah, it is. I mean, it, the, it was donated to us. It was nice of... Uh, we've gotten a lot of new monitors. Right. We've got some really nice equipment. And, we've and it's it not... It, it, you're you're looking... Like a, right, a giant it, coffee table. Right, on a coffee table, yeah. yeah. 
Yeah, we've got everything stacked up and on the floor. It's time to, uh, to set it up right. right. Yeah, I think the design looks really well thought out. I well, know he, that you can get two people in there doing right. work on things. One well, guy can be doing the audio, the other the exactly. video. Exactly, where now you can't. Right can. now you can't do that. No, no. Unless yeah. you're side by, you know, you're, you're sideways. Yeah, it's so. very awkward. Yeah, yeah, yeah the other one's a CG station, so the, for the character generator. will be yeah. over on the left. Great, right. Right. great, yeah. yeah. Instead of stacked up on top of the uh, right. other stuff, yeah. On each other. On each other, yeah. So do I have any uh, any other questions or discussion on this? Um, Can I have a motion on it? Anybody? Uh, yeah, I'll make a motion that we uh, purchase a new console desk from Little Bay. Little Bay, and it's, uh, where is that? Little Bay, Little Bay, Little Bay right here. For $12,025. I'll second. Okay. All in favor? Any abstentions? <coughs> One. Okay. All right. So next is any other business. Do we have anything else we want to discuss while we're here? I do. I just wanted to um, talk a little bit about the community connection that we started, and then we didn't really, haven't really done anything since then. Right. We did the um, 2020 fund, right? Um, and we haven't done anything, but it's really awkward to do it at the selectmen at the table. Like yeah, it just it feels really weird. It's not like a. It's not very personal. Sitting here having a conversation when you're sitting like. Yes. So hey, how are you all the way down? There? So I was hoping that like we could get maybe a couple of comfortable little chairs and a coffee table, stick them down in the corner, and okay. then when we go to do a segment like that, we could just use that. Pull them out of the Pull bar. them out. Yeah. yeah. I mean, even if you went to Goodwill and found two chairs and a coffee right. table, you know right. what I mean? Like, yeah, it's it a good, would work. Okay. All right. I just, it, I think it, more people would be interested, in willing it, yeah. to come and in fake, and talk about yeah, it. I think they did like, that. They did that years ago because I remember seeing something where they had, they had that in a fake in a plant. I mean, yeah, well, I could get a fake plant. The head well, you know, I mean, it just it was a set. We saw yeah. that we saw that in Bedford. Remember, they had that little. They had a. Just well, makes they, had a, they actually have a community studio. Right, yeah. but I mean, they had a, they had a little set, and, and it yeah. would just make and, it look nicer, and yeah. I think more people would feel more comfortable sitting because then you would almost not even feel like you're on camera. Yeah. If you're yeah. just sitting there at it, having a cup of coffee, we and we can actually, people. we can actually, well, if we even if we don't use, well, we can move the desk, or we could use other cameras too. Yeah. We can use studio. I mean, uh, just something to think about. Well, definitely, I think we should look into it. Because I, uh, I really enjoy doing it. So yeah, well, I think we. I are. wish we could get more people. So I, I asked around a lot the day of the parade for a couple of different groups if they wanted to come in. I, I it was all positive, yeah. but. I haven't heard from any of them. It's yet. all free too. It's it's, and it's free. free. It's free. Mm -hmm. I mean, take advantage of it. Nonprofits, give yeah. us a call. Yeah, we'll have to do it. No well, problem. I'll actually look into that. I'll see if I can find. I, I don't mind looking for furniture and such. Maybe we can. Like I said, we'll either go to that or that uh, place. And I have to go to Newington. We'll go to that. Oh, the uh, renew. Renew. See yeah. if there's. A, it's got to be true too. Yeah. yeah, I'll go there and see what I can find. So, that's a good yeah. idea. Thank you. Simple. Anything else? I uh want uh, to move one of the cameras that we have in the selectman's room. Okay. I had said it before, but I keep forgetting about it. Camera four, I'd like mm -hmm. to bring it further back. Camera four being in the middle? Correct. Above the table that's the guest table. So, so it, you can get everybody at the budget meeting? Right. Right now we have to use camera three <coughs> during our budget meeting. It mm -hmm. still doesn't get everyone. And it's, okay. Right. It gets right. most of the people. Yeah, I, I agree. Yeah. Okay. Uh, if we could move that back, I mean, you can move it back as far as you want because you can zoom in. Right. You right. You can't zoom out anymore. Right. And get the whole because everybody discusses at the same time. There's no sense switching because it's right. it's a uh, it'll right. actually make people so, sick watching. I mean, I think we can. That's something we could. I don't do. think it's really a big deal. I don't either. I, I think that's something we could probably do, right, Paul? If we move that camera in the middle back a few feet. I, I don't think it used to be back further. Yeah, so it probably has the wiring. Yeah. I mean, the the length of wire to do if it. If not, I have the wire. I right. have ample amounts of that wire. Okay. All right. I I, I think that's a good idea. When is the next um, budget meeting? Uh, probably Thursday. after they have a, a snow day scheduled 
Hopefully they won't need it. Well, that's, I think, next Tuesday, Pete, I think. Uh, let me check. I'm working it up. I think the snow day is Tuesday. Um, the next one I see well, must I'm going to be in the studio January tomorrow second. for a while. I'll get to oh, that is the snow sure. day. Yeah, I'll come into it. But then that Thursday, the uh, 4th, is also a snow day. Right, they put two days down for snow days. Oh, okay. So well, we'll, we'll go in. We'll look Maybe at it tomorrow. Maybe the night. Does the night swing it down? We'll look at it tomorrow. Me and uh, Rick will see what we can do. Maybe we can move it quick. And I mean, it's, it may have enough length. It's uh, not critical, but no, I mean, but it's I, just but I don't want to do it. Well, it for quite a while. Well, I agree. When we do the selectmen's meeting, it's the same way. Even with the selectmen, if they lean back, you lose people. Right. And uh, it, right. when they all discuss, it, you, it, switching back and forth, back and forth, it's just not, it's just not working out. I mean, it's... Right. It's nauseating. So, yeah, okay. We'll get it tomorrow. We can do that. <coughs> um, Thank you. Yeah. Um, again, if there's any volunteers out there, not volunteers, again, wrong, paid Any text. technicians that any want technicians to be trained. Any technicians want to be trained, want to get involved, it's a good way to do your community service and make yeah. a few dollars. It's not every week. It's not every, every night. Every week. It's, it's not... Nope, it can be, we can break it up. The more we have, the more we can break it up. You know, never in, hardly any weekends, there's hardly any Fridays. No. No. And, then, the and, once, and the summers are pretty open. Mondays, Monday through Thursday is basically. Right. And then summers, it really, after the budget season, it, it tapers off. And you can put it on your college resume. Right. Really and there's good. a lot of, uh, you know, there's a lot of projects you can do. You know, we like to get some PSAs going, some. People go out in the field. Uh, there's a lot of stuff goes on going on in the town, and we'd like to get get it on uh, tape and Can show you it. Mention what we pay. Well, it starts right now. It's uh, ten dollars an hour for, until the first. If what is it? Two years. Yes. Two years, and then it goes up to twelve fifty. So that's a little low compared to other towns. Uh, for we now, make it probably a, just a six month. Yeah, we might have. So basically, it was is the reason it was for a commitment. It's people for, to you know to commit. commit it. Now if, we yeah. If you're here for six months, then that's when we had an abundance of people. Mm -hmm. I think times have changed. Right. Yeah, I'll talk to the selectman about that. See if we can. Uh, I think we should turn that to six months. And right. And also, I, uh, when we when I go to go in front of the board to uh, see if we can get these approved, uh, I'm going to bring Rick with me. At that time, he'll be the he'll be. Uh, officially on board and uh, at that time Rick will have a uh, update on our um, studio upgrade um, where we're at it, on it because they we've gotten a lot of questions what are we doing what are we doing and he'll give an upgrade and he's been working on it as a volunteer because uh, he hasn't been paid uh, up until this point uh, for the last couple months since he's joined the committee so so, uh, anything else? No. Not for me. Well, I have so excited we're to have Rick on board. I'm very excited. happy. I'm very happy. And, uh, I'm very happy. Board, Rick. Really Thank excited you. about it. I think it's going to lead to some great things. I think so, too. Absolutely. Yeah, definitely turning a corner. Yeah. So We were kind of stuck, and yep. now we're moving forward. Yeah, we go. Yeah. yeah. It's exciting. It really is. It I hate is. to say it, but it is. Um, so, uh, with that, uh, do I have a motion to adjourn? I'll make a motion to adjourn. I'll second that motion. All in favor? Vote on that. Yeah.